No more bloodshed needs to happen. It's one of those situations where it is, where you feel a little helpless. We're letting the, the federal uh, agencies take a look at it. I need to be able to defend myself and to protect my loved ones until the threat no longer remains. From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN 530 News. That interview from just 24 hours ago when 49-year-old Gabriel Metcalf stepped in front of the camera with Q2 explaining his reason for holding a rifle just across from Broadwater Elementary School. Well, tonight he is behind bars. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Andrea Lutz. And I'm Russ Riesinger. Metcalf's arrest happened late last night, just hours after we spoke with him. The 49-year-old is charged with possessing a firearm in a school zone. Tonight, our David J is back at Broadwater Elementary to explain how authorities were able to charge Metcalf since there's no evidence he's ever crossed the street with the gun and on to school property. Neighbors say they have seen the man walking through the alley with his gun. They never really felt they were in any danger, but they do understand the concerns. We also had a chance to talk with parents over at Broadwater School who responded to the arrest and also say they were quite pleased with how the school handled the situation. I was worried um, uh, and I was also a little sad um, when I heard that my child, you know, you know, had to go to an alternative playground, um, but I was very happy with the school's um, support of the matter um, and, and their ability to keep them safe. What a difference 24 hours can make. One day after a fear field start to the school year at Broadwater Elementary. I appreciate the concern that the school has and I just hope everything has a good resolution. A sense of relief Wednesday following news this man frequently spotted across the street with a gun had been arrested. I think it's kind of crazy that, like I've never heard of him getting arrested but like that's actually crazy news. I hope he I don't know. That's kind of scary. <laughs> it's kind of sad. I do believe that the guy has a right to his choice. If he wants to bear arms, great. But he shouldn't be posted outside of a school where he can see children or be within a reason of a school because he fears and jeopardizes everyone else. 49-year-old Gabriel Metcalf appeared in federal court Wednesday charged with possessing a firearm in a school zone. According to court documents, Billings police received multiple calls the first two weeks of August from residents concerned that Metcalf was walking up and down the sidewalk in front of his home carrying a gun. That sidewalk is across the street from Broadwater Elementary, but investigators say, according to federal statutes, is within a thousand feet of the school and considered a part of the school zone. Everybody has a right for, you know, to bear arms and protect their property, protect their family, you know, Second Amendment, but... Um, Bearing arms like that is totally wrong here or anywhere. Metcalf now faces up to five years in prison and a $100,000 fine if convicted. In Billings, David J, MTN News.